Okay, so Audrey, now that we've kind of broken down, you know, front end, back end development, the different languages and yep, stuff, yep. like what advice would you give to somebody who wants to get started in coding? So I think as a start, um, the way I always, you know, talk to my students would be like, hey, you know what, have you actually, you know, coded before? Because, you know, a lot of people like the idea of coding. Right. But do they really like to code? That is an entirely different story. Right. Yeah, because yeah, coding sounds sexy. Yes, you know, we can exactly, all build our amazing, exactly. yes. amazing web apps and become the next billionaire. Yes. But so, okay, let's get into that. So, sounds sexy, but are you saying like, do they have the right mindset, the mind like thought process? What do you mean mm -hmm. by? Okay. Yeah. So I think whenever I ask like someone, who, you know, when whenever someone actually come up to me and say, oh, you know, I want to get started in coding, I say, oh, why don't you actually go out and play around with it a little bit, right? Before you even you know talk about you know committing. Uh, full on into coding um, and one of the reasons why is because uh, there's a few things when you're learning to code right you definitely need to not be afraid of failure there will be a lot of trial and error and I realize a lot of people are very afraid of you know writing the wrong code for example so when they get to experience uh, you know a little bit of coding here and there they will actually know that oh the first thing I need to learn is you know not to not be afraid of failure because that's Essentially, how so not be afraid of failure. It's almost like yes. life. Coding yes, is like exactly. life. Don't be afraid exactly. of failure. You know, no, but yeah. They, uh, you know, sometimes there will be bugs, right? Right, and, and, right. And it's okay. You know, it's okay if things don't work out the first time, the second time. It's all about trying. Um, but how do I? Okay, so you said go and play around with coding. Yeah. How do I play around with coding? What is that? I mean, that, like, what do I do? Do yeah. I build my own little website? What do I do? No, there's a lot of websites. I, I think there's a lot of websites on the on the internet that okay. allows you to actually try out coding. Right. Okay. So, so to introduce you to the world of coding, and I think those are good start. Right. Can you like name okay. one or two? Like for example, Codecademy. Sorry. Codecademy. Codecademy. Uh, yeah, Codecademy is okay. one of them. Um, I think Codecademy is great because uh, they they intru they allows you to actually play um play along or play around with your right uh, with whatever they have right. And of course there are some other things like there's one in particular called Code Pen. Okay. C O D E P E N. Um, you can actually check out, you know, other people's code and try to, you know, play play around with people's code and adapt code it, and, tweak it, yeah, right. tweak it and and see the uh, see the outcome of it, right. right? So I think those are good way of you know introducing people to um, coding, but of course, you know, there are many times I realize that people don't really want to jump, you know, straight into don't don't really want to just you know do all this stuff and they just say that hey you know what Audrey I just want to get right into it and and for me I always say okay guys like so why don't you just you know try out front end development so, right yeah but what so this so front end development that would be the starting point it would be a good starting point at least for um like at least for on how we actually structure the program it's a good starting point for people who have never coded before yeah uh so we start off you know easy and then eventually you know you you'll be learning a lot more uh, you'll be learning tougher concepts you'll be learning uh tougher things and you'll be writing algorithms eventually um and and i think that would be a very good introduction from something really simple all the way to kind of like mid-level uh mid-level difficulty Okay, so like the the sensible path, right? Let's say the, the ideal path is mm. start with front end, and yeah. then move into yeah. move into back end. I mean, it, it, let's say if you're starting from completely okay, scratch, okay. from zero, mm -hmm. start with front end and move into back end. Um, different people do things differently. Yeah, Just but what's your recommendation? As I say, I'm starting from scratch. Yes. Yeah. The, the reason why we ask people, oh, why don't you start from front end, is because when it comes to back end coding. It's very conceptual sometimes. Okay. It's, it can be very abstract as well. But with front end coding, when you're coding it, you get to see straight away. Right. So it's that yes. whole immediate feedback, yes. visual feedback. Immediate Absolutely, visual yeah. feedback. And, and when that happens, you know, we realize by doing so, people's interest actually uh, will, will increase their interest in learning to code. Because sometimes it's yeah. when it's too abstract, yeah, you just yeah. cannot we need, imagine When it. we're learning something, yeah. we need some immediate yeah. feedback and immediate, oh, I see, I did this and that and, happened. And that happened. And Absolutely. eventually, you know, when you, when eventually when you move on from uh, front end to back end, at least you already know how the feedback loop is like. And right. then when the back end comes in, it's going to be more abstract, but you already have the confidence in coding um, because of, you know, because of uh, what, you, what you have done previously. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Okay, but so is this whole coding thing just for millennials and Generation Z? It's not even about millennials anymore. So you millennials out there, you guys are old already. 
Um, you know, is it, do you have to be in your 20s to be able to code? Or like, can you pick this up later on in yeah. life? Yeah.